Cunningham. April is esophageal cancer awareness month. It's one of the more deadly cancers taking about 16,000 lives last year in the U.S. Here to help us better understand this disease is Dr. Mario Kattigbeck, a thoracic surgeon at Hartford Hospital. Doctor, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So is it true that some esophageal cancer can be traced back to acid reflux? How is that? Yes, that's a surprising fact. A lot of people are very surprised to hear that something as common and as widespread as acid reflux can cause esophageal cancer. And the way that happens is, you know, we all need acid to digest our food. And the stomach where the acid is produced is really well designed to kind of protect it against acid, but not so the esophagus. So if you imagine that the esophagus is subjected to acid day in, day out, for days, weeks, months, and even years, that irritation can lead to esophageal cancer. And I wanna emphasize that. Very few people with acid reflux will get esophageal cancer, but they can get esophageal cancer. Okay, great point. What are some of the signs and symptoms that shouldn't be ignored? Well, if you have bad acid reflux that's not going away, you're taking your Tums, you're going to the, get taking your Pepsid, it's weeks, months later, please see a doctor. That doesn't mean you have esophageal cancer, but you should get that checked out. All the right. warning signs of esophageal cancer are really if food starts getting stuck and starts blocking. So that's a really advanced sign. So definitely see a doctor. Good to know. All right, doctor, tell us about what kinds of treatments are available. So the, uh, the treatment really depends on what stage it is. Very early esophageal cancer can just be kind of scraped out. But most esophageal cancer, unfortunately, is picked up and it's a little more advanced. It hasn't quite spread, but it's really started to dig in. And those cancers need to be treated with a combination of therapies. So usually it's chemotherapy and radiation, followed by surgery to remove that part of the esophagus. And that's uh, one of the surgical things that we do specialize in. Doctor, is it easy to detect if someone thinks they're having an issue? It's not necessarily easy to detect at the very early stages, which is why prevention is always the best way. And usually once you're having symptoms, that means it started to dig in just a little bit. Okay, you have an upcoming webinar on the topic. Tell us about that. Sure, um, myself and uh, one of my gastroenterology colleagues, Dr. David Chaletsky, we're going to be talking about esophageal cancer, both from the start, which is acid reflux, all the way through how to diagnose it, what to watch out for, and really how to treat it. And I'm gonna be focusing especially on what we call minimally invasive esophageal surgery, which is something we specialize in at Hartford Hospital. Getting these complex, incredibly difficult surgeries done through tiny incisions, either laparoscopically or robotically. All right, Dr. Mario Kattigbeck, thank you very much. And we will be back after a short break. Thank you. It's